Hi and welcome to the Click Team Fusion 2.5 demo for how to make a game in under five minutes. Uh, Click Team Fusion 2.5 is a game development tool uh, which requires no programming so it's very easy to learn and to create a functioning game in a short amount of time. So this is the software. We're going to start by creating a new application and to make our game we'll be using the frame editor and the event editor. So this is the frame editor where we actually put the objects which are going to make up our game. So we've got a library of graphics here that we can start using. Um, this is going to be a bat and ball game and we're using the, the tutorial graphics that come with our software. So we'll just put a background on there to start with to give it a bit of colour. And then the next thing we want to do is to add a player, which is going to be the bat that the uh, the player controls. So we've put our player on the board there, and then over here we've got lots of properties that you can set for any object that you add into the game. And uh, we're going to select movement, and then we want the player to be able to move when you move the mouse left and right. So we've select mouse controls, and then to test edit the movement uh, it gives you a box where the player will move so we want it just to go side to side for this so we're going to drag the corners of the box so it's a very tight area so it just moves left and right and try that movement we can see how it's going to work so that's perfect and then the next thing we want to do is to add bricks for the ball to hit so we drag one of these onto here we'll put it up here and then what we can do is to uh, make a whole bunch of blocks and we duplicate. So we're going to set four rows and let's say 17 columns and that should fill the screen. There we go, that's perfect. So the ball is the next thing that we add. So we add a ball onto the screen and then that ball is going to hit the player and then bounce off and hit the blocks and the objective is going to be to destroy the blocks so we we'll add a movement to the ball as well um, so we've got a bouncing ball movement that's going to be perfect for us and then you can change the direction that the ball moves in when it when the game starts so we'll make it a bit easier and just make the ball go upwards at the beginning of the game to give ourselves a chance so that's everything on the frame editor. All we need to do now is to set some rules for the uh, objects to interact with each other. So we go over to our frame ev event editor and then we're going to add a few rules. So the first thing we want to do is test if the ball has actually left the screen. So we'll say has it left the left top or right of the screen and if it has then we want to select the ball here and then actually make it bounce so all the objects on the game are at the top of the screen and then the rules are down the left of the screen and then we've got tick boxes to show what the action will be so the next thing we want to do is to test whether the ball has hit the player and if it hits the player we also want that to bounce and then the third thing is that we want the ball to hit the bricks so when it collides with the brick what we want the, the ball to do is to bounce and we also want the brick to destroy uh, because we want the bricks to disappear when we hit them and then the final thing we need to do is when the ball leaves the bottom of the screen then that means it's passed the bat um, and we've failed to keep the ball on the screen so we're going to end the application so that's the end of the game and then we could just test the game here see how it works and you can see the ball is bouncing off the bricks and bouncing off the player and then bouncing off the sides of the screen as well so that's our fully functioning game created in under five minutes and uh, obviously you can add all kinds of things to your game you know the the limits of your imagination are the limits of the the software really um, you could add more features to our bat and ball game uh, you could have different colored blocks, you could have more than one ball, you could change the speed of the ball, you can add power-ups, different levels, anything really. Okay, so that's our demonstration of how to make a game in under five minutes. Thank you.